Hi everyone, this is a quick walkthrough on how to access your Gmail Aerie E cloud-based document sharing. So the first thing you want to do is launch a browser and you're going to type Google Drive. And when your Google Drive comes up, you're going to want to come over here to My Drive. And when you launch it, you'll come into a landing page with your user ID. In this case, we're going to use the Downey Fire Department, the third one down. And I'll enter the password and this will launch us into the Downey Fire Department's landing page for our Google Drive. So each agency is going to have its own individual login, so it'll have its own individual view as you create individual documents. It'll share in your uh, your own My Drive. You can see on the left-hand side here, it says My Drive, and that's where we are right now, and this is where anything that you create as an agency will be stored. Below that, you see Shared Drives, and if you're sharing anything with other agencies, this is where you would do so. And finally, at the bottom here, you'll see shared with me, and that's where we'll go in because this is where the documents that we've shared with all of E to get us started with this process. So uh, the first folder I'm going to point out here is at the bottom. It's the E COVID-19. So inside of this, we've created a couple folders. One of the folders up here is the documents folder. This is what Downey Fire Department documents that we've created, and they are now shared with the rest of the group so that if anybody has um, wants to share those resources or use them for your agency, they're already available. If you click up here, you continue back. And if you go down below into your this area e resource dashboard, inside this dashboard, it's just a nice uh, clean way for each agency to track resources in uh, coordinating, especially through the, uh, the OpMac process of resource tracking. This way we can see uh, total personnel, and then based on the number of people who've been sick, tested positive, tested negative, and if there's any kind of staff, staffing shortages that we're dealing with, we can coordinate at an operational uh, area E level as opposed to each agency working uh, on their own um, to track these resources. So when you go back into the drive, again in that area where it says shared with me, we click shared with me. And this will take us to the other uh, file folder, which is the XLE resource rosters. And so another nice feature that we've created is these two rosters, one's for the RTF2 and one is for strike team roster. So if you open up the RTF2, and again, everybody has access to these in these shared files and it's a live file. And so you'll notice where it says date, it auto populates a date and time that this document's being viewed and all changes to it are being tracked and by the individual who made the made the changes to it so we can go back and see who's entered which names uh, into which roster positions and all of this is not only is it fillable uh, as a spreadsheet it's also viewable by any of the other agencies so uh, even downy fire communications if they need to log in to see what is our roster resource for the rtf this would be the, the one location the nice thing about this because it's live we can make changes to it on the fly. So if out the door, it doesn't reflect who's currently on the apparatus, uh, we can make those changes real time. And then if we go back, the other item that is on this, in this area is the strike team resource availability roster. Again, this is uh, reflective of the current uh, fillable PDFs that are being emailed in. Nice thing about this is it creates a live document. Again, each agency would be responsible for going in and filling out their own resource tracking availability. You can kind of see that along the bottom down here across the agencies where those agencies have availability for their rosters. So Compton resources, Downey resources, et cetera. And so if we clicked on the Compton resource availability, then it would bring up the first out, second out, third out. And the nice thing is their Compton first out is then auto populated into the main area East strike team roster under the Compton engine that would be going out the door. And again, these changes can be changed real time to track the actual rosters of who's actually on the strike team. So thanks for your time. Again, that's just a, a quick overview. Um, one last thing to kind of look at here is on the far left side under new, this is where you would go in and you'd start creating your document. So you have Google Docs, which is like Microsoft Word, Google Sheets, which is like Microsoft Excel and uh, Google Slides, which is like uh, PowerPoint. So um, again, thank you for your time. Appreciate it very much.